welcome to one of the noisier grounds in English football. It's not the biggest, but the supporters are so passionate. Selhurst Park, the home of Crystal Palace Football Club, and Alan Smith and I, Martin Tyler, will be trying to keep our voices above the din so that you can hear our commentary. James Tompkins. Coming up now, Crystal Palace against Huddersfield Town. Well, he could be the star turn in this game. There's a lot of quick players about, but uh, it's not always easy to use that speed, but this boy has mastered that to a T. Number 10, Andros Townsend. Number 23, Michi Pachishua. And number 11, Wilfred Zaha. Here's the Crystal Palace team. Jane Tompkins plays with Scott Dan as the centre-backs. Wilfred Zaha starts with Andros Townsend as the wide options. And leading the attack, Michi Bachway. Huddersfield Town have this team at their disposal today. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park, and I think uh, the onus is on the full-backs to provide the width in this shape. Thank you, Selhurst Park. Enjoy the game. It's interesting at the corner of the ground where the most noise comes from, the fans are allowed to stand up which uh, is because the ground regulations say you have to be given a seat, you don't have to sit in it. The chairman himself told me that. Yeah, I think they've tried to use it. They've embraced the fanaticism, if you like, of those groups of supporters who uh, are just so passionate about Crystal Palace. And uh, it really just stir the team forward. Striding forward, purposefully. Good challenge. Aaron Moy. Here's Grant. Pritchard. Dan. James Tompkins. Sheku Kuyate. Lerva. Jonathan Hogg. Now Grant. Doing well to keep the ball. Clear his lines. Break quickly when they get possession. Still progressing on the break. Sheku Kuyate. Now he can cross it. Patrick Van Arnholt. Zaha. Using his physical power to protect the ball. And he can clear it here. That's a great interception. Sheku Kuyate. Townsend. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Corner given. That's a fine shot, an even better save. He's a long way out, and sometimes they can catch keepers by surprise, but he was on his toes. A short corner. Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. Jonathan Hogg. Hogg. Here's Alex Pritchard. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Patrick Van Arnholt. It's a good place to win the ball here. Chance from the... Gonna try his luck! It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Do you know what? I still can't believe he saved that, Martin. What a stop it was. 
got some strength, hasn't he, to shield the ball like that. He's given it away. Hogg. Aaron Moy. Zaha. Andros Townsend. Now, this is an interesting attack. Now, Grant. Pritchard. Lerber. Play back. A timely challenge. Typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw-in. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw-in. Lerva. Good defensive clearance there. Lerva. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Hogg. Pritchard. Any danger to the goal has gone with that clearance. Good screening, and he's kept the ball. Shekou Kuyate. We've got two added minutes, that's been signaled now. Michi Bacuai. Matthias Jürgensen. Milivojevic. Well, that is half-time, and the score is nil-nil here. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes, still 45 minutes to go, of course. He worked hard enough, but just didn't come off for him. But he's got another half to put things right. Here we go in the second half, hoping and indeed expecting a bit better fare than the first half provided. Yeah, managers, both managers, got a bit of work to do just to to G them up, need a bit of urgency in the legs. That's an easy cut out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Andros Townsend. Sheku Kuyate, not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Going forward well. Kuyate, very skilled. These passes may look easy, but... The uh, work off the ball is very important. Now Grant. We've given it straight to the opposition. That's a free kick. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, I think it unquestionably was. I mean, on another day, he might have got a red for that. It was a really dangerous challenge. Well, we're going to get substitutions from both camps now at the same time. That's a good spot by the defender. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Sheku Kuyate. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Defended well. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Patrick van Arnholt. Crystal Palace have a substitute getting ready. Lerva. Chance to put it in the box from here. And that is now a goal kick. Substitution for Crystal Palace. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench.
Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Andros Townsend. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Delivered into the box. No nonsense defending from him. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Hogg. Batshuayi. Milivojevic. James MacArthur. Michi Batshuayi. Threads it through. Put in from the wide area. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Now Grant. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Only five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the scores are still level. Matthias Jurgensen. Hogg. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. And he's got that and cleared the ball away and saved his side from a... a In with a chance. Can he do it? He's blocked the shot well. Oh, that's great. And the wait is over. It's a fine goal. They've worked away at the opposition. And now they've got their reward. Nicely taken. And patience has paid off finally. It's a great moment for the goal scorer and for his team. It surely won the game in the dying moments. It must have, and it was a really good take as well. Didn't have much time in the box there. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. We had seemed to be stuck in a, a bit of a stalemate, in truth, but this very, very late goal has changed that. Well, they threw men forward and they've got the reward. Pritchard. Here's Grant. The fourth official has indicated... They're keeping the ball patiently, probing. They need to penetrate the opposition if they're going to equalise. Well, the game has run its course here, and there's the final whistle. One or two of the players almost in tears because they couldn't have given more but they've really got nothing to show for it at the end, apart from the satisfaction of playing well. Yeah, well, that's the only thing they can take from it, and that's what the manager maybe will be emphasising in that dressing room. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan? Well, he was arguably his team's best player, so I think it was fitting that it was him just when his team needed him to grab that late winner.